Right, hello. Basically, in this blog, I'm going to be talking about country music. I know I've probably done this many times during the past on my blogs, but it's come to me, it's come to the attention that I just am fed up a little bit over the uh, UK and particularly where I live and their, uh, their, their their reputation of country music. It really does piss me off. And um, there is a question I'd like to propose to the Americans out there and anybody who wishes to answer this for me but can you still buy CD singles in America? Are they still available? Do people like Taylor Swift? I've, I've got a CD single here, Love Story, released in this country, Great Britain. Can you buy that as a CD single in America? Will it be available in the shops? I'd like to know. I know I can go on the internet and find myself but I'm not on the internet now so I might do anyway, but if anybody can basically tell me, um, in case I can't find, I'd like to know. Because basically, I'm absolutely not happy. Um, I've actually been, um, I actually got a couple of, um, I went into a chat room, basically, on AOL. A British one. And I did talk a little bit about country music and some of the idiotic British people, yeah, they are idiots to me, absolutely, said the reason why, and it was a pose a question as to why, why is it that you get a lot of country music released in England, Great Britain, that is being recorded like, for instance, the Taylor Swift single that I've got today, it's basically re-recorded, what they do is they, 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 they record in America what is commonly um, a single, a track, a piece of music, a country song, they have all the fiddles or the guitar, well, might not necessarily be a fiddle, but they have the, the steel guitars or whatever they do to make it sound country music. Right, it gets released over there in America. All good stuff, you know, all that, you know, and they think, that's good, that's good. Country radio play it, um, probably get it on some of the pop stations over there, you know, that don't have you know, the the knack of playing any other version, but that version because it's been recorded like that. What happens is, some of the artists come over to England or Great Britain and think, hmm, we'd like to release the album over here or, you know, like Taylor Swift, their debut album in this country is actually a uh, second album from America. We have three extra tracks which come from a debut album in America. It sounds confusing, but it ain't. And they do singles, but what do they do for the what do they do for the English? They can't leave anything alone, and it really pisses me off. And I'm sorry if you're English and British and think that what they do to these country songs in England is acceptable, because it ain't. As far as I'm concerned, it is absolutely um, it's ripping off a real country music fan. It really is. Country music should be country music. I do not want people like Taylor Swift, well, obviously, obviously she and other people have got a hand in it or else they wouldn't actually agree to it, but if I was Taylor Swift or anybody, I'd turn around and say to the record companies in England, I will, I will come to your country and promote your music and release my, or, no, not your, I mean, let's, let's say it again, if I was someone like Taylor Swift or whoever, I'd say, look, I'm willing to come to England and Great Britain, Europe, and release my album, my music in the country unless unless you keep it country because I hate the fact that you go out and buy a CD single like this Taylor Swift Love Story where they basically re-record the track take away all the con take away the country and they sometimes put a dance beat onto it or pop beat or something you know and they actually make it into a pop song and stupid radio stations have this have this job of playing the record and, and saying, "Well, would you credit that a brand new country uh, song or track by a country artist?" and just played it, and they think that is country music. Is it? Eh? Why can't they leave something alone? It is fucking stupid. It's even worse when it's actually a dance beat. I fucking can't stand it. And you know what? I'm afraid to say this, and, and, and it really has done my nut in today, but they've really got, they've really done it now, haven't they, the British? Because usually, when they release a CD single of a country song, 
on many occasions normally what they do is they do two versions they do the actual UK pop version, radio edit, dance mix or whatever which is like track number one and usually you get track two or track three down the line is normally the country version normally but it ain't can't believe the fucking damn CD single I've got on it Love Story which is the UK version obviously the normal the, the, the one that obviously is fucking stupid Beautiful Eyes is the second track I like that it's country music the third track Love Story Digital Dog Radio Mix who gives a fucking shit about that? I don't. And as far as I'm concerned, I've wasted my money. I'm going to keep it because I like Taylor Swift, but... I wouldn't mind if they actually did an American version of a CD single like this, because I would want it. And I do that, and that's the old reason why I'd like, I'd like to buy American imports of country albums, because I want country music. I want the proper country album, and that's why I do it for... You know, and who cares if I'm gonna look, if I'm gonna be an idiot and go to somewhere like HMB in England and say to them, I would like to order a CD of, say, Taylor Swift or some country artist, and say, um, can you um, order me the import version from America? They might think, Mr. Wallace, uh, we do have it in stock, but then it will be the UK version, and I don't want that, so. I'd be af I'd be happy to say to them I would like you to order the import version for me, please, because I'm a country fan, and I would like to get the country music version of such an album, and that is exactly what I want. I can't believe damn bloody British industry m music industry. It's these record bosses, you see. What it is is I think no one in this country cares about country music, and maybe they don't, but there are diehard country fans out here. In England, that obviously like country music. I want to get country music on CD, but they want country music. They don't want fucking pop versions of country songs. It's pathetic. It's because they often think that some of these kids, these teenagers, are probably going to think, Ah, we like Taylor Swift. Yeah, but you only like Taylor Swift because of what might be pop songs. I mean, in America, a typical 16, 17, 18, 19, or whatever year old will go out and buy Taylor Swift's album and like it because they don't care. I mean, yeah, they might not be country fans, but... or... There will be country fans, they will like it in America, and they'll get it, the album to number one. But in this country, it's one of those things that, oh, too many people say, oh yeah, I like Shania Twain, and, and, and so on. If they do, if they turn around and say, yeah, we are fans of Shania Twain. Yeah, but... you're not really a fan of Shania Twain in England, you can't be. Because you're technically hearing a song that has been re-recorded, like, put a dance beat onto that, don't impress me much and it'll be... I like it. That's what you like. You're not a proper fan. How can you be a proper fan of Shania Twain for a song that you don't really like if it's been turned into country music, when technically Shania Twain is a country artist, not a pop star? She should be modelled as pop. None of these fucking country stars should even go to England or Britain and have music releases pop pop music because they're not a pop star they never will be they are country music through and through why is it we have to have a stupid country that do this to almost every country song that gets released in this country and they get service to probably radio stations I absolutely bloody hate it and it really pisses me off and I just think that they should keep country music as they do release it ju that's why I buy proper country music from America because I get all the import CDs and I want that. People on bloody radio like the Hit 40 charts where they'll say will Taylor Swift be number one? They've uh, remixed this song for the UK taking away all the fiddles and, and shit. Fiddles? The song by Taylor Swift doesn't even have hardly any fiddles on it. It's hardly it's hardly that big of a deal. They make, they're making it sound like it's a bluesgrass record which is totally wrong. Anyway, so that's my rant over with and I just really wish... Oh, I would love to be a record boss in England. I'd love to own a record label like Sony or BMG. Well, it'd be Sony, BMG or EMI or Warner or something in this country and I'd say, right, when country music gets released over here, it'll be country music. It won't be re-recorded as pop. But anyway, that was my rant over with. Bye for now.